Hi guys, this video here is actually a news video. It makes sense that for a general user visiting Arconix that it does not make sense. It makes sense. Lately you've seen videos about Endeavor OS, about Garuda, about ALCI, a riser. And people ask, where is the limit? Where's, where's the line? What is Arconix and what is the rest over which we have no control, right? So to explain that, the project is five years old. I was never, I never intended to make a ISO, right? I rolled into building ISOs. I was, you can check the YouTube video. I was on Linux Mint for years, developing the Sardi icons and the surfer icons. I came across Arch Labs, posted a lot of stuff. This is not working. That's not working. That's not working. But I felt it was a diamond in the rough, right? I thought, this has potential. And at some point they said, would you like to join our team, Arch Labs team? And all the things that I posted on the forum, I had to fix them myself, right? I gave them, that's a problem, that's a solution, that's a problem, that's a solution. So 30 or so posts were fixed by me. Then the ISO developer, the, the, the guy who made the Arch Labs ISO was gone. Eric, can you do that? I don't know, never done that before. I started building ISOs. And from Arch Labs came Arch Merge, came Arch Arch Linux. And here we are, the last two months, looking five years back, saying, in the end, all we've, what we've done and all the projects that we've done, there are, and that's maybe a good place to go back to the beginning, all the things that we've done we have now 42, we've explained, uh, 42 ways to install Arch Linux. We started with Arch Linux X, well, Arch Linux, right? <laughs> well, let's not go into much detail. We have now 31 ISOs of the Arch Linux project. Next to that, we have the Arch Linux ISO, because you wanted to know how do you even create this? How do you start from scratch with, and that's the basic uh, tool for to create an ISO, Arch ISO. How do you start with Arch ISO and then build up? So I see it as an, an, a big Lego box, box and I choose my pieces all the time and put this, put this there. And we have this, this um, black, uh, no, black or right, uh, red square, and each of the Lego blocks go onto like a motherboard on the PC, right? And you place everything and you've got it this strong. So Arch Linux came to existence. In the meantime, there is XS and Excel and XS LTS. You read, it's all here, right? I keep to the big lines. So Carly is how to make it from scratch. Six, uh, sorry, 11 Carly versions just to read and to watch it's Netflix, right? It's just binge watching. A riser is no calamars at all. That's a project of um, Pico. Pico made a script and I thought, what if I put that script on an Arch Linux ISO and I gave it a name, a riser, previously called AA ISO. So that's pure Arch. You run your script, you've got Arch Linux. ALCI is back to color Mars, but it's also pure Arch, but we want to have something graphical. A, a riser is, is black screen and like the Arch Linux installation, but with a script. So seven ISOs here in the ALCI project. So you follow each of these links and then it becomes hopefully clear. There is of course the Arch Linux ISO and there's the way to install it with go type every, every command, which is super difficult if you are new to Linux. And that's the first thing you need to do. Type commands and follow Dodge Wiki, it's impossible. But if you follow our tutorials, maybe, right? That will be better. And the last is the Arch install. They have also a script. 
get ArchLinux on your hardware via a script from ArchLinux called Arch Install. Now, the, the guy who asked the question became completely disoriented because what is then this? We are a university. We give you knowledge how to create an ISO, how to build an ISO. That's here, how to build an ISO. You use our ISOs and you build and make small changes, right? But this one, Articlex ISO, is the Cardi guy. It's like very long list from A to Z, every aspect, how to create an ISO. And here is ALCI and a riser. But he saw this. Create your own distributions. So with all the knowledge that we provide, and it does not have to happen overnight, right? Give yourselves years of study into this Arch Linux project and you'll know how to maintain an Arch Linux based system. And it will be yours. And you can build ISOs and you can do any kind of things. But some of these guys are so far ahead with their knowledge, they can actually make their own ISO and a spin-off. We call it spin-off from Arclix or Carly or LCI because all these videos on all these websites will help you to build an ISO. So these are just references that and I just added this to the line here. Projects will cease to exist. Links will be broken. And that's the challenge here, right? Starting a project is fun. And then you share it with people and you get feedback and say, well, this is an awesome distro, right? Maintaining it is the challenge. So many of these references, things that I've installed, do not exist anymore. That's the reality of life for whatever reason, they've stopped maintaining it. So the only thing I can say is look, see if they changed the name or something or anything. What happened to them? I don't know. That's a very important sentence here. We have zero control, nor do we wish to have control over all these spin-offs. It's their thing. It's their creation. It's their brain. Because basically, all we do when we create distros is choices. We want system D, we want init, voila. And then it goes on, it boots on. Oh yeah, XFC, no, first light DM or SDM, oh sure. And then maybe plasma or etc. right? It keeps on, it's a bunch of choices. And in the end, you can call it a distro, a spin-off, whatever, the name you like. But many people make beautiful spin-offs. If they still exist, yeah, that's up to them, right? So that was the question and so well, what's going on, right? This is basically our project, right? Learning, and these two are not from us, right? These are the Arch Linux ISO, but learning how to get things done. How do I install Arch Linux on my uh, hardware? And this is it, right? The Arch Linux University, the learning path. So can I make another, uh, a tip here, sometimes I see people starting with Arclinx D. Look where Arclinx D is at. It's phase six, it means like months, maybe years before you tackle Arclinx D, you have been working on Arclinx and other Arclinx versions and desktops before you get how everything fits together because D is bare. Arch Linux is bare. All the others basically were bare. These guys, ALCI, Riser, Carly, a little bit, right? But these two guys surely are super bare, but you're in control. And that's one of the things, right? I want you to be in control of your operating system in all aspects, even the building of an ISO. Creation from zero, that's Carly. So well, I hope things are a little bit more clear now. Coming back to the text that makes everybody say, what is going on right now? Lately, I've been seeing videos about, and this will be released pretty soon to the version of June. Just a quick overview. It's all Arch Linux. I made that epiphany, or I had that epiphany like two months ago and everything 
for the last two months have been in that well that vision and you can have anything that we have on Arclix on Arch if I want to have left WM on Carly I can if I want to have an on Endeavor OS BSP WM I will if I want to have a riser you know what I'm gonna say right the point is all the efforts that we've done last five years is that wasted if i go to endeavor os no it's just a matter of getting the packages in for herops luftabia and it will run there as well and that's the point having this idea can't we grow together more because arclinix just became two months ago too small why not make the Arcolinux tweak tool an Archlinux tweak tool the Arcolinux logout an Archlinux logout so I can take it with me so basically I have this this briefcase right I take this briefcase and I say okay now I'm going to riser I'm going to have my Firefox and I have gonna have Pipewire maybe and I gonna have this and this and that and that right I just take with me what I want to any Archlinux based ISO but we're gonna restrict ourselves to D7 at first right so that's what's happening that's what's behind this these strange things on YouTube me making videos on Endeavor OS and Garuda and all and LCI I'll tend to do more on the LCI I still have to make one later on right so so that makes sense that please stop thinking in boxes in names it's Arch Linux and you do your thing with it like i did my thing prior to arclix arch labs right arch merge prior to all that i did linux mint and i did my thing with it too make it beautiful with the arc theme icons and such more add our uh, add applications remove applications that's the point start with whatever i saw you 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 like whatever distro you like and then do your thing with it so it's probably boils down to this need urge to have the freedom to start with whatever i like and then have whatever i like and the arch linux tweet tool can help me with that all right cheers